Today's series of Doflex scale interviews we have with us Dr. Vanati. She's a professor of ophthalmology who specializes in cornea, cataract and refractive services in All India Institute of Medical Sciences in New Delhi. Dr. Vanati is also the co-office in charge for National Eye Bank Services at AIMS. Dr. Vanati is a compassionate and dedicated ophthalmic surgeon with extensive work experience in advanced lamellar corneal transplant, limbal stem cell transplantation and ocular surface diseases. She has been awarded with gold medal for excellence in ophthalmology by Indian Intraocular Implant and Refractive Surgery Society. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the interview. So Thank let's you. begin with our first question. Uh, so, doctor, what kinds of corneal transplantation are available for corneal diseases? So, corneal transplantation can be classified or can be described as doing a full thickness corneal transplantation, which is known as penetrating keratoplasty. Today we do advanced techniques which is known as custom corneal transplantation where we only replace the layers of the cornea that are affected with a particular disease. So it could either be an anterior lamellar keratoplasty or a posterior lamellar keratoplasty in which we have advanced techniques like the deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty or the DALK technique and we have the advanced endothelial keratoplasty techniques like the DSEC and DMEX surgeries. So these surgeries have taken us to a very different level and have enabled us to treat diseases at a particular level which is only affected and not transplant the entire thickness of the corneal tissue. We also have transplantation where we describe it as the optical uh, corneal transplantation for visual rehabilitation purposes and when we do it for corneal ulcers, these are known as therapeutic keratoplasties or therapeutic corneal grafting. We also do uh, stem cell transplantations which are stem cells located at the periphery of the cornea in the, in, a, in the part of the eye which is known as the limbus and that is limbal stem cell transplantations. These advanced limbal stem cell transplantation, transplantation techniques are also available with us in current times. Okay. Uh, so doctor, I would like to ask you uh, what are the special factors that need to be considered for pediatric keratoplasty? When we look at pediatric keratoplasty, corneal blindness in the children which is something needed to be dealt with in an urgent or a priority basis because that's the, the phase when the vision is developing. So when vision is developing, we want to have a clear cornea so that the, the neural pathways or the neural vision pathways develop well. So that's the need to identify these children, identify what is the kind of transplantation they need and you also need to look at the various other eye diseases present in these children. And apart from the, the medical or the ocular health care, we also need to counsel the parents and the need to bring these children back to us and remain with us on long-term follow-up for the health of the graft for a long period of time. Okay, so moving on to my next question. Uh, can you please brief us about limbal cell stem cell transplantation? When we talk about lim limbal stem cell transplantation, we first will have to understand where is this particular type of treatment indicated. So commonly we need limbal stem cell transplantation in those diseases where the, the limbal stem cells are, have been destroyed by any particular disease. There, there are uh, limbal stem cell transplantations which occur because of trauma to the eye. Very commonly in the Indian scenario, it is because of chemical injuries, firecracker injuries, thermal injuries, when these are like tuna particles, acid, alkalis fall into the eyes and it is very sad to see when young children get affected by this disease. So that causes a, a significant amount of deficiency in the stem cells and leads to whiteness of the cornea, decrease of the tear film and decrease in the surface smoothness of the eye. So these are the particular kind of children or the patients who need limbal stem cell transplantation. We can take these limbal stem cells either from the other normal eye, that's a fellow eye, which is an autologous transplant, or we can take it from a cadaveric transplant, or we can take it from a live-related donor. And sometimes we take these cells and we bioengineer them or develop them, process them in the lab. So that's a, that's a technique which is called a cultivated limbal stem cell transplantation, which is more laborious and uh, which needs more advanced and sophisticated infrastructure and manpower for this. We have now devised or we have with us an available 
simple limbal epithelial transplantation where the small amount of limbal tissue is taken from the other healthy eye and this is cut into small pieces and placed on the region on the eye which, which has had limbal stem cell transplantation that is simple limbal stem cell transplantation. Uh, so, doctor, uh, what are the post-operative management? Is, you know, it will be required for limbal cell tra transplantation, stem cell transplantation. So, when we talk about uh, post-operative management, one is first we need to give antibiotics, topical antibiotics, to prevent infection in these cases. We need to control the inflammation by giving steroids in these cases, and we need to give topical lubricant therapy so the surface is well lubricated with tears, which is deficient in these eyes. And uh, primarily it needs to be emphasized that this treatment is to restore or rejuvenate the injured limbal stem cells of the ocular surface. So this needs to be followed up either three to six months later by a visual rehabilitating corneal transplantation surgery. And uh, the, the limbal stem, stem cell transplant surgery is a prerequisite to do a, a corneal transplant. Otherwise the, the transplant will not survive in a scenario of a stem cell deficiency. Uh, so, doctor, lastly, uh, do you think like an online community like DocPlexis can help ophthalmologists to get recent uh, medical knowledge? I think yes, the DocPlex is uh, a wonderful platform for the uh, for the uh, the vast medical community to to become aware and to reach out to the right people for right information, for right awareness, because ophthalmology has developed by leaps and bounds in terms of it's a, it's a microsurgical technique basically and uh, for other specialities who are dealing with gross techniques they probably do not understand or perhaps are not aware just as we are not perhaps aware about the recent advances in the several other fields which we are not coming into contact so i think this is the setting in which Doc, docplex comes into a play and provides a magnificent platform in which uh, people in the same special in the, in the same field but in different specialities, learn to interconnect and take our knowledge levels to enhance giving better healthcare services to the society. Thank you so much, Doctor, for yeah. the interview. Thank you for having, having me you. with us. Thank you. Thank you.